the jet stink. Wrong, but yeah. I can't see myself. <laughs> that, is that creepy? No. Well, I say that. It's time to do yoga or stretching. <laughs> it's an inside joke. I hope you guys watch the video. We are your Seidenberg ambassadors, Rachel and Raisa, and we are here with Dr. Hill. How exciting! That's me. Finally. <laughs> um, so, are you ready? I have never been more ready, Rachel. Thank you for asking. All right. So we're going to begin with a couple of questions. Raisa, would you like to start? Yeah. Tell us about your journey. How did you enter this field, and what keeps you in this field? I had a Byzantine journey which means it was uh, unique and complex and very circuitous. But I had uh, always in my career one foot in the technology industry and one foot in academia. I worked as an adjunct at CUNY for 10 years while working in technology businesses, largely in the travel industry. And then for about five years, I had a full-time faculty position at CUNY. And they stole my grant money. I got mad, and I quit. And I went to California to become a dot-com millionaire. <laughs> and um, that lasted for about three years, and it was so much fun. But I wasn't a millionaire. And I came back to New York and uh, met some people from Pace. So I came and spent uh, what I thought was going to be a semester doing a project here, and um, oh no, it's 13 and a half years later and I'm still here. <laughs> and somehow you're still so here. glad yeah. <laughs> that you are. We don't mind. Yeah. Oh, did you ask what keeps me here? Yes. Yeah, I do. <laughs> you. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Raisa and Rachel and uh, your four fathers and four mothers, the, the wonderful students that came before you and will come after you, uh, this is a really special university. And uh, the students that come here are beyond amazing. One big family. I think we yeah. are. That's yeah. what I like about that. Big family. Yeah. It's, a, it's <laughs> a family, but it's a family of really smart, ambitious, committed, creative people. I agree. It's a special place. <laughs> so what are the peak and pit of your everyday in the role as dean? On a day-to-day -day basis, the best parts of my day are when the people in our community have a success. When one of our amazing faculty gets a National Science Foundation grant, when one of our students gets a job at Google or Microsoft or a cool startup down the street. Hopefully that'll be us. Yeah. No doubt. <laughs> you're both gifted and talented, so I know you're going to do very well. Um, but in, in my role as dean is to do everything I can to make sure that the people here are successful. And when they have those triumphs, big ones like million dollar grants, or small ones like getting invited back to a second interview, that's a wonderful thing for me. The pit is when people have trouble, um, particularly students. We've had some amazing, I, I've had students here who had perfect SAT scores and were valedictorian of their high school who flunked out. And I've had students who had financial difficulties and couldn't stay. Um, those kinds of troubles, particularly for the students uh, who are the most vulnerable people in our community, uh, that's the pit. Yeah, in your opinion, what are the biggest challenges Seidenberg is facing right now? The biggest challenge we have right now is scaling up. We had a, a venture capital guy here today talking about starting a business. And in some ways, Seidenberg is like a startup. We've had exponential growth over the last two years. And so the challenge we have right now is how do we take this family, community supportive atmosphere and grow it from 700 members to 1,500 members and beyond. How do we make sure that every student who comes here, who pays uh, the very great cost, the very big investment to be a Seidenberg student, a pay student, how do we make sure that every one of them get the education that is most appropriate to them? And that's the, the value of PACE, is that you can really customize, personalize your education. Yeah. Yeah. So how does everybody get the best opportunity, the best experience? And, and I think it's important to say we can only overcome those challenges if we work together. Um, success brings more challenges. Our faculty are teaching to many more students than they ever have, and our staff are servicing many more students than they ever have. And, and we have to be careful that people don't burn out. 
we've got to take good care of each other. And yeah. Students have to be patient with the staff, and faculty have to be patient with me, and <laughs> we've got to we've got to uh, really pull together. But we are in the middle of a process that's going to take this very special place and make it a national caliber school. Where do you see Seidenberg in the next ten years? A national caliber school. <laughs> Um, we have some fabulous faculty here who I feel like I've been able to help uh, uh, unchain and get them the resources they need to be successful. And uh, we've always had these amazing students. And we're getting more of them. Right? People who walk in the door here, they get it. They feel this sense of community. And so students like you, Raisa and Rachel, you know, a few years ago, you might have said, I'm going to go someplace else. I mean, this seems interesting, but, you know, I don't, know, don't necessarily want to go to school in the city. I want to go where there's a sorority house and a football stadium. <laughs> but the technology career opportunities are here. The amazing faculty is here. And the amazing students are here, right? I mean, the friends you're making, those kids out there in the, in the collaboratory, those kids are... You know, they're going to go to your wedding, yeah. they're going to be your reference for your first vice president job in a few years. <laughs> they're going to be in your life forever, and they're worthwhile people. So if you could give us a piece of advice or knowledge, something that you wished you knew when you were of our age. Yeah. When I was your age, yeah. you wouldn't have liked me very much. <laughs> oh, no. I wasn't a very nice person. Um, I would just say that you should take every opportunity that you can here and invest yourself in it. I mean, go to the, the career fairs, meet people, talk to people. We have so many alumni who come in, so many different industry people. Um, really make every effort to get to know those people. And you too, I mean, you're, you're student body leaders, <laughs> you're very socially adept people. Um, not everybody is as outgoing as you two are, TV stars with your own video series. <laughs> but, um, you know, I think that's the standard advice. There are so many opportunities at the, in the city, and this university is such a great launch pad. Use it. Everybody loves college students. I mean, you could call Donald Trump today, not that you would want to, but you could, and uh, even though supposedly he's going to be president, um, if you called him and said you wanted an interview him for your vlog, um, and not that I'm advocating that, but he more, more likely than not would say yes, or at least respond, because people love college students. What is the strangest gift you've ever gotten? A bottle of pickled onions <laughs> from Russia. Oh, okay, <laughs> interesting. Uh, what is your favorite home cooked meal? My chili Never with chili it. and wine. It's top notch, if I say so myself. <laughs> That's not fair. You picked your own meal for your. <laughs> oh <laughs> we'll yeah, my slide. wife. My wife doesn't watch this. <laughs> okay, if you were stuck on an island and could only bring three things, what would they be? Rachel, Risa, and this video. <laughs> Wait, is that, is that creepy? No. Well, I say that. <laughs> no, that's fine. Okay. Okay, what was your dream job when you were 10 years old? Um, when I was 10, I wanted to be a, uh, I wanted to be a fullback for the New York Jets. Really? But when I was 2, I wanted to be a paleontologist. So I, I prefer my 2-year-old aspirational self. Okay. What was your favorite part about being in college? My community. My, I had an amazing circle of people around me that taught me so much and are my friends to this day. Aww. And I want you guys to have that same experience. And I see that, and that, that gladdens me to see these amazing relationships. I went to my first Seidenberg Scholar wedding this summer. Jeremy Pease, one of our early Seidenberg Scholars, and Aww. he married Corinne Louie, who's a performing arts paced person. And big, huge wedding, like 150 really? people. And to see all these 25-year-old Pace alums with great jobs and great careers and so happy to see each other, you guys are coming into, uh, you, you guys have that also. <laughs> but the, the, it, it, at the Seidenberg School, the class of 1989 takes care of the class of 99, takes care of the class of 2009. And uh, Alex Quicks and Jose Diaz-Gonzalez's class, nobody takes care of them. But, <laughs> 
It's an inside joke. I hope you guys watch the video. Uh, what's the strangest thing any student has ever asked you? Oh, man. <laughs> I don't think I can commit that to... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like to the I don't think that I can commit that to, to uh, video. Actually, I did have a student tell me once that uh, she wished I was her dad. That was a little... Ooh. That was a little weird. But... Uh, <laughs> Nice, 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 nice nonetheless. A nice end, but yeah, I have been uh, asked and told some interesting things. Interesting things. <laughs> now, if you ask me that question about the weirdest thing the faculty have ever told me, I'd love to know this answer. Yeah. <laughs> that will be the subject for another vlog interview. Oh no, he left us hanging. Well, thank you, Dr. Hill. This was very fun. It was a pleasure. Yeah. It was my great honor to be here. Thank you. And I uh, hope I didn't say anything to uh, get myself in trouble. <laughs> and if I offended anybody, academic freedom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Don't Thanks. forget to follow our Instagram and Twitter and subscribe to our blogs, okay? Bye. Bye.